global tensions, uh, slowing global growth. We've got that Brexit vote coming up. Uh, but this bear actually turning into a bull, maybe the gloom, doom, uh, gloom, boom, and doom report editor, Mark Faber, is on the phone with us. Uh, do Dr. Doom, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Now, you know, one of my favorite things is when a, 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 a legendary bear becomes bullish or, or a legendary bull becomes bearish. You are seeing some opportunities out there, huh? Yes, but I want to classify the statement. I never said I'm bullish. But what I'm suggesting is that the worse economic conditions become in the world, and I believe that uh, the world is slowing down and not healing and not recovering, that things will get worse, the more the mad professors at central banks will print money. And when you print money, something will go up, maybe not all stocks, uh, I would say there are groups of stock sectors that will go down. The momentum stocks of last year, Apple, Netflix, uh, Google and so forth, including also Amazon.com, by the way, and other stocks, they will get money as well as some commodities. So I have to clarify the statement. Okay. I'm neither a raging bull nor a raging bear because based on the economy I should be very bearish but based on the money printing that is going to happen in the end I bet you the well, elite and the establishment they will own most of the bonds outstanding in the world including the junk bonds and most of the stocks and then they will have realized the classical socialist communist system well, where they own all the assets. Well, I mean, I, I think to your point, though, uh, 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 Mr. Farber, that, that's their goal. But I want to talk a little bit about these opportunities for people who are listening. So you're saying uh, the Netflix and the Apples, the Googles and the Amazons, those are worth holding despite the volatility that... Uh, no, those uh, are worth selling. You want to sell those and, and buy commodities. These are the RCAs of 1929 that subsequently dropped by 90%. I would hold essentially depressed sectors, oil servicing companies, and especially gold and silver mining companies. Anything to do with resources, I think, will recover, maybe not to new highs, but quite significantly. We've had a huge rally since the beginning of the year, but if you look at the relative performance, they went down 90 percent. Sure. And after being down 90 percent, they rebounded by 100 percent. But they can easily go up sure. another 100 percent or another 200 percent. So, but to, to that, to I would that look note, at agricultural uh, commodities. To that note, then, okay, and I, I've been watching these this, these groups very well, and I've been wa I've seen some of these rebounds. In fact, uh, we even got into some U.S. steel <laughs> this week ourselves. Joy Global a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> but don't you need some demand improvement as well? Do you think there will be a little bit of improvement for demand, like copper, zinc, and those kind of building block materials? I think the demand will not collapse because we have the Chinese economy slowing down. But it doesn't mean that China will go into a dark age. They may only grow at 3 to 4 percent per annum, but they still need copper. And in the meantime, and this nobody talks about, you have a country with 1.2 billion people, India, that will probably grow at, say, I'm more pessimistic, 4 to 6 percent per annum. The Indian bulls say 6 to 8 percent, but say, even if they grow at 4 to 6 percent per annum, it's a lot of growth for a country with 1.2 billion people from a low level. And then you have Indochina, Vietnam, Cambodia, right. Laos, and so forth. So I'm not that bearish about the demand side and the supply side. Uh, there were excessive capital investments. They've been cut down significantly and now I think within the next one or two years the supply demand imbalances that depressed 
prices will come right. into line okay. and prices will stabilize erratically. So, so maybe I, oil to, will to drop just put again it up, to forty dollars or thirty. Mark Farber, but just to put it, it back, it won't go to ten dollars as some of your friends predicted. Okay, so just to wrap it all up, then uh, sell these high flying names, the RCAs of the of today. Uh, yes. Look at commodities, particularly on the servicing side, whether it's uh, oil or other natural resources, and, and also you're looking at uh, some some demand stability and gold. You got to own gold. Uh, listen, George yes. Soros is making the same bet too. So thanks a lot.